Welcome back to What on Earth. It took me a long time to get my head around ENSO, the El Nino Southern Oscillation, which is an atmospheric circulation pattern that affects weather all over the world, from the Antarctic to the Arctic and everywhere in between. It involves changes in sea surface temperatures, pressures and winds in the tropical Pacific and has an oceanic component and atmospheric component. So we've got the EN bit, which is the El Nino part, and that determines the change in sea surface temperature. And we've also got the SO bit, which is the atmospheric component and describes changes to winds and pressure. ENSO periodically varies between two phases. On the one hand, we've got El Nino conditions, where we have warm sea surface temperatures in the tropical Pacific, and the name refers in Spanish to the season because it normally happens around about December or January. And on the other hand, we've got La Nina conditions, which is when we have cool SSTs in the tropical Pacific. So during El Nino, we've got lots of warm water near the coast of the South American continent. That generates atmospheric convection in the tropics. And because as warm air rises, it reduces the pressure at the surface over the Eastern Pacific, that can cause a reduction in the strength of the easterly trade winds, which can have a consequent effect on reducing the amount of rainfall experienced in Australia. During La Nina conditions, we get exactly the opposite. So those cool SSTs result in less tropical convection. That leads to stronger easterly trade winds and more precipitation over places like Australia. Now, ENSO's effects are not just felt in the tropics, and in fact, they are transmitted across the world by something called teleconnections. The pressure changes caused by a particular phase of ENSO have cascades of effects, and it's just like dropping a pebble into a pond. The ripples where you first drop it are much larger, but as they spread out, they get smaller, and those effects are felt even as far afield as places like Antarctica.